On a rocket mass heater, it's a J shape that goes up. There's another chimney like this inside here, same size, and then there's a circle of chicken wire with an insulation of perlite and clay that we've mashed up against the walls. So there's a space in here between the barrel and the chimney. And then there's also a two inch gap. We've shimmed it up so that the chimney is two inches below the top of here. This is the kindling from our building site. And then the local truss company drops off the truss ends and we burn this in there. Put that on fire and then because of the construction of the J-tube and the vertical wood, it burns so efficiently coming through here that there is actually no ash. I clean this out once a month and like that much. The sides, I can stand next to this just like this and not roast. If you were to do this on a normal wood stove, you would roast. So all of the heat is coming and going down this chamber here, this tube, through this bench, which is 20 five feet long and then up that chimney there and literally I can go and touch that flue and it's not going to fry my hand. Heat goes through here up this chimney and out as vapor and what's so cool about this is this whole bench gets heated and then will radiate all night long. My husband and I will finish dinner, close that up, go to bed and then we don't have to come back down at all. We lose about three degrees in temperature. We have a 15 foot ceiling in here and a massive staircase on this end. I, I def <laughs> you can't do that with a wood stove. You just can't. So it's very nice, comfortable, and very efficient. A wood stove, a normal wood stove, 50% of the heat goes through the chimney. Mine is going into the battery bank here, which is the bench. What comes out of our chimney is vapor. This will not be hot. This is single wall pipe, not triple or double wall pipe because all the heat is in the bench.